Hey everyone, this is Mia and today we're talking about the ancient and sacred practice of smudging. That is so beautiful. Now, it's not just the native shamans that are smudging these days. This beautiful ritual has caught on in many different circles and walks of life. So why do we smudge? Well, toxins in the form of negative energy or particles of any kind can clutter our physical bodies and physical spaces, as well as our emotions and thoughts and energy fields. So to create the reality that you want, you must begin by clearing away accumulated toxins and negative vibrations. For example, if you've had an argument with someone in a particular room, you may find that the energy of discord in the room is so palpable, the air feels almost solid enough to cut with a knife. And sometimes the residual emotional energy of those harsh words remain in that space and that's why you sometimes just don't feel good in certain places because the vibrations of words and thoughts and emotions that occur within a space literally hang in the air and the physical surroundings. So that's where space clearing comes in and you can do it in a variety of ways. You can clear space through your intention or through the use of specific spiritual tools such as crystals and bells and drums and rattles but also through smudging herbs. The sacred act of burning herbs and incense can be used for a variety of purposes but no matter the reason it's a lovely and meaningful way to shift the energy of any space. Smudging has been used as a part of various ceremonies for centuries from full moon rituals to medicine rituals as well as house clearing, birth and death rituals and even intention setting or manifestation exercises. There is something solemn and symbolic about setting something aflame, seeing the smoke rise and smelling the scent of the herbs. And then of course it's wonderful to know that you can clear negative vibrations and replace them with goodness and love. It's important to know that burning herbs or incense or resins activates the innate qualities stored within the plant's consciousness that are intended to clear out negativity or usher in sweetness. When you look at smudging from an elemental perspective, it is a holistic or self-contained ritual because it contains all five sacred elements. The herb itself represents the earth element. The flame clearly rep represents the fire element. The smoke itself represents the air element. And typically, the smudge stick is held over a conch shell like this. Like this beautiful one here. And that represents the water element. And of course, the fifth element is spirit. And that's argu arguably the most important aspect of any ritual because it is what gives meaning and purpose to our actions. Through the lens of nature-based spirituality, we can see why smudging is such an important and potent practice. It's thought to purify a space of negative vibrations but it also invites light, love and peace to reside there instead. The smoke travels through the air, 
neutralizing harmful energies and inviting those unhelpful frequencies to leave the area. And that's one of the reasons why opening a window or door is so important during a smudging ritual, not just for healthy ventilation, it provides a path out of the space so that these negative vibes can leave and the positive ones can take their place. So without some kind of open passageway, you'll simply shift the energies around but won't be able to fully get rid of them. Depending on the area of the world and the spiritual tradition, there are many different plants and substances that are used for this kind of clearing ritual. Here are some of the most popular ones. You can use white sage as a herb to wash off negative vibes prior to entering sacred space and connect to ancestral spirits. It was originally used in Native American traditions. And then you can use cedar to invoke the spirit of the cedar tree, wise, strong and powerful. And it's typically used in rituals of protection. You can use sweet grass, which brings the blessings of our Earth Mother and it invites positive feminine energy into the space. And it's also used to carry our prayers of thanks to the heavens. Lavender can be burned to invite spirits of goodness and to protect against evil. It's used in many European religious ceremonies and belief tradi traditions. And then copal is the sacred sap or blood of a Mexican tree. And it's burned to give thanks to the gods, especially for our natural resources. Frankincense is used to protect and cleanse the soul, even in death. And it is used in nearly every major religion on earth. It's also thought to ease depression and promote clairvoyance. Amber is a sweet resin that is burned for happiness and love and comfort in the home. And it was originally used in pagan rituals. And then you can burn sandalwood to increase spiritual awareness, give power to your manifestations and to aid in astral traveling. The sandalwood tree is a sacred tree in the Buddhist tradition. And then you can use dragon's blood to invite the sacred masculine. It boosts vitality and it gives courage, especially when doing a manifestation. And dragon's blood is also often used in pagan rituals. Now, even though these are the most common materials used in smudging practices, there are lots of ways to clear your space without using fire or creating smoke. This is helpful to know, especially for those with asthma or lung disease or other environmental sensitivities. One of the easiest ways and the safest ways to smudge without smoke is by using essential oil sprays um, like this one here. Now this one has geranium, peppermint, true lavender and clove and it smells absolutely divine. Many sacred plants can be found in essential oil form so you can just mix it with either pure water or clear alcohol to create a cleansing mist. Uh, so just look for oils of lavender, sandalwood, frankincense, white sage, cedar and any others that you love to make into a spray. You may also include crystals or other stones in your spray bottle for an extra 
boost. There are so many ways that you can incorporate the beautiful and sacred practice of smudging into your regular rituals. Just find the herbs, resins and spices that resonate with you and start shifting your vibration. I hope that is helpful and I hope that you will join us uh, in the Soul Woman Circles where we talk about things like smudging all the time, all kinds of sacred ritual and ceremonies and you can go to soulwomancircles.com <laughs> or the soulwomantribe.com. Thanks so much for listening and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Mwah.